May 17th, 2021. A tweet is sent from user Matt Tomic. Every time I see an Angels highlight, it's like Mike Trout hit three home runs and raised his average to 528, while Shohei Otani did something that hasn't been done since Tungsten Armo Doyle of the 1921 Akron Groomsmen as the Tigers defeated the Angels 8-3. The Tungsten Armo Doyle tweet is nothing short of a baseball Twitter classic, and given some recent Shohei Otani and Angels performances, we're going to be talking about the top Tungsten Armo Doyle games of Otani's career, aka games in which Otani did something amazing and the Angels lost. Let's go through this chronologically. September 15th, 2018, Mariners at Angels, Otani's rookie year. Mike Trout hits a two-run homer in the bottom of the first, and Otani, not to be outdone, follows it up with a solo shot of his own. Back-to-back -back homers between generational talents is a strong foundation for a Tungsten Armo Doyle game, but not to be outdone, Justin Upton hits not one, but two homers of his own. And yet, despite a terrific showing from the middle of the lineup, nobody else hits. The rest of the team goes 2 for 22, and the Angels only score 5 runs, falling to the Mariners 6 to 5. July 7th, 2019. Angels at Astros. We've already had a game where Otani and Trout homered and the Angels still lose, but how about a game where Otani hits 1 and Trout hits 2? Tungsten Arm was rolling in his grave, I'm assuming he's dead, during this one. A high-scoring affair punctuated by a Yuli Gurriel Grand Slam in the 6th inning. Trout's homer off Will Harris in the 8th tied the game back up, but George Springer walked it off in the 10th. I couldn't find a game I liked in 2020, so we'll skip ahead to May 11th, 2021, which is the closest game to the tweet's date. It may also be the closest in terms of loyalty to the text. Sure, the Angels weren't playing the Tigers, but Shohei Otani did do something that was 1921 Akron groomsman levels of rare. After seven innings of one-run ball and ten strikeouts, he took to the outfield. Trout, meanwhile, ended his game with a 355 batting average. Unfortunately, the Astros rallied in the eighth inning with Otani finally off the mound, winning the game 5-1. July 19th, 2021. At this point of Otani's eventual MVP season, Trout was done for the year, so he's not part of the equation. So what does Otani do to make this a tungsten arm classic? How about six innings of scoreless ball with eight strikeouts, as well as a third inning double off Cole Irvin? Unfortunately, the Angels failed to score from it, with David Fletcher ending the inning out at home. Steve Ciszek pitched the bottom of the seventh for the Angels and allowed a walk, another walk, and a three-run homer to put the game out of reach. Your final score? A's 4, Angels 1. Now for the current season, May 29th, 2022, Blue Jays at Angels. Shohei and the Angels jumped all over Jose Barrios in this one, chasing him in the third inning after he allowed six runs, which included two home runs hit by Otani. Patrick Sandoval didn't fare much better, but the Angels led for most of the game. Unfortunately, tale as old as time, the Blue Jays rallied off the Angels' bullpen, scoring three runs in the seventh and two in the eighth to win a wild game by a score of 11 to 10. June 21st, 2022, Royals at Angels, arguably the Tungsten Armo Doyle game to end all Tungsten Armo Doyle games. This is another case in which Otani hit two homers and the Angels lost, but the real statistic to highlight here is eight runs batted in. There have only been four players who drove in eight runs in a game and lost. None of them played for the 1921 Akron Groomsmen, but one of them was Lou Gehrig versus the Tigers in 1932. The Royals scored runs in seven out of the first nine innings of this matchup, and though Otani miraculously tied the game up in the ninth with a three-run homer, the Royals won this game in 11 innings. You thought we were done, right? Nope. June 28th, 2022 versus the White Sox. This one has everything. First, we have Trout and Otani going back-to-back -back off Johnny Cueto in the third inning. That's key. Always good to get a strong Mike Trout presence in a Tungsten Armo Doyle game, but Otani's the star here. He finishes the game 3-for-3 three three with two homers, a double, and a walk. So far in 2022, this is the only game in which a player had three extra base hits, reached base in every plate appearance, and lost. And this game wasn't even close. The White Sox rolled the Angels 11-4. Look, you could do this video about most great players, even the ones who play on great teams, individual players are only one ninth of the lineup, they can only influence the game's outcome so much, yada yada yada, but the truth is, it doesn't matter. Because only the Angels have the tungsten arm tweet. And every time Otani does something good and the Angels lose, I have no choice but to pay my respects to the completely fictional Mr. O'Doyle and his 1921 Akron groomsman.